up guys, Spagan here, and today we are scaring the shit out of you and playing League of Legends in mid lane as Orianna. And I probably didn't scare too many of you, but I sure, I feel like it would have been exciting if I did. Anyways, decided that, um, you know, today's, today's a great day, you know, today's a great day, um, I've already lost like four solo queue games, and we are hoping to break that curse with this game. Decided I would play Orianna, of course I got... A Zed picked into me, so we just warded that one. Started off with Longsword and three health potions. Pretty standard. And I did take Exhaust, due to the fact that it is a Zed in my lane, so I will be doing that. Um, and pretty much just going to be playing this lane very passively. We're going to rush a tier and then go for a Seekers, then probably go for a middle of Namakon. And we'll figure it out from there. Because that is the standard um, against an AD mid laner build. So if it's like a ward coming out, ward there. And I'm going to do nothing but be generally annoying this game and speak in only all caps. So, that will uh, hopefully encourage my team to take the initiative a little bit more and realize that, listen to me, I am the captain now. It looks like we got me in mid lane, Tukano, the Kha'Zix jungle with the new cool Kha'Zix skin. It looks like we got Octavius Caesar up in the top lane on the, go or on the dog. And then we have Angie, of course, playing Jinx as AD carry. And then we have uh, Graybell, the the golden cow, which should be golden bell, um, as support. So I'd say we have a pretty great team. The Shuriken gonna bot me right there, right off the bat. Fucking Zed wrecking me, but getting wrecked by my little gears I'm throwing at him. So let's just keep up with the CS now. Uh, as far as things go, I do want to apologize real fast to you guys before this game really gets started because... Usually, as you guys know, I don't upload, like, tons of Friends videos, especially not, like, back-to-back -back like I have been. Um, and that's pretty much due to the fact that games have been just going so terribly. I'm on tilt right now, full tilt. Um, playing badly, it happens. And there's not much I can truly do about it, if, if in my honest opinion. It's, it's rough. And I'm trying my best, but teammates have been very... <laughs> Wow, teammates these days have been very icky for me. Um, not exactly sure what's making them so bad right now, but they've been pretty, pretty raunchy. Um, and it's been rough. You know, it's been pretty tough to deal with. And as I'm sure you guys understand, the variable that is the human race makes it very difficult to record videos sometimes. So. With all that said, I'm sure you guys understand, and I am trying my best to get more of these solo videos out because I know some of you guys really like the uh, the the minimum amount of analysis I do in my videos and uh, the the entertainment value that I put into them. So getting some damage off on Zed there, and we do have to play this lane rather cautiously due to the fact that of course Zed is an AD mid laner and is pretty powerful against us overall. Um. But that's the reason I'm going for tier then Seekers, because the tier will obviously build into a Seraph's Embrace at the end of the day, and Seekers Arm Guard will go straight into that Zonias that we're going to need against Zed anyways. But that'll give me the armor and a lot more um, tankiness to deal with the Zed. And, well, pretty much anyone else on their team too, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my ball over there. I'm going to get a potion ticking before I get jumped, because um, if I get jumped by Zed at a bad time, or Mumu, I'm going to have to pop my summoners. And I'm not really down to do that just yet. So let's go ahead and just move my ball over there to get that CS. We are 24 to 17 right now. Doing good on that department. So let's go ahead and just drop my ball over there and keep that up. Looks like Vayne picking up the first blood on Alistair. Not good for us. But it should be okay. So let's go ahead and throw the ball there. And that's really not good for us. Um, Vayne getting a double kill is especially not good. Let's go ahead and just shield myself, do some big damage to the Zed here. And it looks like we will be getting some good damage off there. The Mumu is coming mid though, so I do need to keep a watchful eye out on that side of me. And, oh no. Uh, okay, I got the Siege Minion. And Zed missed his Siege Minion. RIP! RIP! Nice. Alright, I'm gonna get both of those. I'm gonna get these, so I'm just tanking them. Let's go ahead and launch my Q. And I should go back, you know, like, right now, because it's not worth staying around to try and get a tiny bit, um, tiny bit of more farm than I really want right now. So I'm just going to grab this, I'm going to grab a ward, I'm going to grab one mana potion, and grab that. Kha'Zix is doing the right thing by, uh, 
coming into lane and holding it for me. And we'll just run back here with the tier in hand now and try and see what we can do. So 35 to 29, even with that back. So we are doing pretty well. And like I said, got the tier right there. I probably... Hmm, I probably should have gotten the cloth armor on that back, actually, along with the tier. Because I did have a thousand some odd gold, and I think that may have been better. Um, but it's okay, gonna use the ball there. And, boop, out of that one, out of, whoop! Alright, use the ball to get all three, or all four of those, however many there were. And I'm just gonna use my ball to really push this wave out, because it is a siege wave. And we want Zed to miss this, ideally, because... If I can make him miss a siege, that's, well, really good. Um, so let's go. Uh, okay, good. I got it still. So, lots of minions going there using the W just to speed them up a bit more. And it looks like, will we do it? Will we do it? Zed will... No, he got it with the shadow, that bitch. God damn it. All right, well, that kind of sucks. But Zed is six now. Got the Brutalizer on that back. No surprise there. I'm going to go drop my ward over in this bush. That was my trinket ward. So just a little bit there. And let's uh, let's keep the ball there for a second. Use that. Looks like Zed is going in. I'm going to go ahead and just walk away. So that's not going to do much damage to me. Not going to bother even using my summoners or anything because I know he's not going to be able to kill me. Uh, and I don't think he had the full intents of killing me there. I think he just wanted to poke me some. So, I mean, it kind of worked, but not really. So kind of kind of a puzzling ultimate there. So he won't be able to all in me again for a while. And, um, he had both. Alright, I forgot, I'm talking in all caps this game. So let's get some damage off on him there. And he will have to use his potion soon. Or, he will suffer valuable losses. Let's go ahead and just use my mana potion here as well. And, rip, do some damage to him. And bring my... Oh, I didn't get the minion. I tried to bring it back with my shield and get it, but I missed it. So, just out of that. I'm surprised I'm out CSing with Zed, because Zed is super duper good at CSing. Granted, I am Oriana, so I'm pretty good myself as far as champions go. They're good at CSing. I just canceled my auto. Rip. That kind of sucks. But looks like Kha'Zix coming in. I'm going to do some damage to him here. And let's just see what we can do. And come on, he's... Oh, Mumu is going in here. I'm going to flash out. Wait, why did I flash out? What the fuck? He's six. I panicked. I panicked really hard. Um, okay. Well, let's see. This can still be okay if Kha'Zix goes in at a good time. So let's see if we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and drop the ultimate there. Boom! That'll be a kill. Great, great job. Very well done by that Kha'Zix. And that will be a kill for us. And a Mumu is six. Don't have my flash. You too. You too! Give him an exclamation point. Know that I'm, let him know that I'm really excited about it. That like Mumu's going to be an annoying bitch. I don't think I would have even been hit by that, actually. But kind of kind of really annoying. Cover mid, please. Never mind, he's not even pushing it. So I'm going to go back, grab the Seeker's Arm Guard, get some potions, get another mana potion. Now we got some armored and some more AP to stack up. Still have our exhaust. And that will be that for us. So the CS lead is still there, and now I have a kill on him as well. And it looks like the vein bottom will be kind of tough to deal with. Um, as a Jinx, it's usually not super hard to deal with vein after you get your Q leveled up. Before that, you actually have a... I think you have less range than vein has when you're in uh, Pow Pow Stance. So I think it's the difference of 525 to 550 for vein. Um, so it's understandable that they got killed early, but luckily they're at least not still dying. That's that's what really matters, to be honest. The fact that they're not still dying will be very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and just do some damage here. Yeah. Oh, I missed my ball. Rip. All right, there's the shuriken. He was aiming that very clearly at me, <laughs> but uh, will not hit me. So I'm just going to keep auto in here. Cause, whoops. Oh fuck! I just missed both of those. Never mind. The minions totally glitched out right there. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get in here myself. Kha'Zix is out. Never mind. Let's go ahead and drop a ward here. Oh, hello. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Get these potions ticking. And whoop. All right. So he's not really doing much. Amumu's coming. I need to back right on out of here. Let's, uh, whoop. Got that minion kill. Was going for a bit of poke on him, too. 
but I did still get the minion kill, and that's good. So, let my potions do their thing. The Mumu is leaving now, so get these. He's going to try and shuriken me. It ain't going to work because I'm sneaky like a snake. Chilling in the forest. Well, let's see. So, still not CS in great. Not terribly, though, and let's just leave my ball over there. So I can kind of force him to maneuver around it. And actually made him miss the siege minion there, so that's pretty good. Pretty good for me. Go ahead and drop the Q there and get that siege minion. I'm just going to auto these ones down because, you know, no real risk of anything here. And I don't want to make myself miss any of them for obvious reasons. Because missing CS is never a good idea. I'll get this potion taken too because it is Zed. So he does have the potential to all in me very hardcore. And I want to avoid that whenever that's possible. So let's go ahead and just launch another Q into his face. And boop, drop it there. And he is doing nothing but CSing with the shurikens pretty much, which isn't a bad choice against an Orianna. Uh, it keeps you more safe than anything else, because obviously he's still getting a lot of the CS. He's very slightly behind me, but he's still getting a decent amount of it. So it's not the worst idea he could be making, or the worst choice he could be making right now. And I don't know where a Mumu is. I know he's top size, but I should stay on this side more. Let's see, Zed is going over there. So I'm just pinging that. Zed was... Oh, Zed just came back. Alright, never mind. Zed is here! So, good. Hello, Zed. I missed you. Whoop! Get both of those minions. I'll get this one and cue that one. And as you guys can see with the level my W is at now, as well as my amount of AP, I do have the damage to just clear waves, and that does make my life quite a lot easier. So let's see, just go ahead and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, get to exhaust him. And use this. No, I'm not going to get out. Wait, will it be a kill, though? No, he's not. He flashed in to try and get the kill. And that was bad. I thought Amumu was still topside, so I got very cocky there and messed up. So let's get Sorcerer's Shoes, and I'll say sorry. Get this, and then, what's that at? 288? Not bad, so 100 CS, 12 minutes in. One and one, kind of sucks, but it's okay. And we will, now with the Sorcerer's Shoes, be able to obviously move a bit faster. I tried to exhaust him, and it almost picked us up a kill with my ultimate. Um, I think I could have played that a lot better, but I do apologize. It happens. Bad plays happen. Let's see, what's bot lane looking like? Vayne has ADCS to 72, so even though she got the double kill early, they're actually doing a good job of maintaining uh, not like a CS deficit. So that's really good. That's very good. And Zed got a Hex Drinker, so that's kind of annoying me, and I'm not really going to be killing him anymore. It looks like a Super Mega Death Rock I just missed. So, whoops. <laughs> I guess that's what that fuck me is for. And we got to keep in mind that he has a Hex Drinker now too, because that will... Add some uh, tankiness to him if we try and kill him. So, go ahead and keep my ball over there. And then I'm going to move my ball here. And let's go ahead and just shield myself. And, boop. Hey, you missed the minion. So, oh, they got the shutdown on Vayne after she got a killing spree. And that'll be good. And Mumu's coming in. And looks like she's going to dodge out the turret going to hit her some. And I need to rush down there myself. And the tower will kill him. And never mind. We're totally fine. I don't know where Zed is, but I'm going to ward right here. There he is. And bop. Keep my ball there to try and distract him. And, oh, the ball took too long to get there. Let's see. Can I get all those? Use my mana potion. And do some damage to him here. If he wants to come back towards me, I'll just rail him. Oh, let's just keep, keep the Zed at bay. And that's all I gotta do. If I can pop his Hex Drinker, that would be even better. Because if I can get that out of the way, that will be really good. Like, really good for me, I mean. So that hurt a lot. And Amumu is running after Alistar right now. I don't have a ward to throw in there. Oh, thank you for the heal, Alistar. You're a good guy. You're a, you're a nice guy. So let's see. I need to not be too far up. Because I don't know where Amumu is. But I do want to be... There he is. There he is. He's coming in from there right now. Trying to do stuffs. <sighs> oh god, I didn't get it. So that kind of sucks, but if my if they try and dive me in 20 seconds, my exhaust will be up. But before then, I really want to stay as far away from the turret 
or uh, as far away from the middle of the lane as I can, and keep the minion wave, the enemy minion wave, as far away from me as I can as well. Because obviously, with that exhaust, they could dive me very easily with the Zed, and I do not want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my ball in the back here, and auto E, and then auto Q, and go back myself for um, a blasting wand, blasting wand, and potions. Because I'm gonna work towards the uh, the Archangel staff right now. I I can't think today, man. I'm trying, but I just can't put the words together in my head. Let's go ahead and wait in the edge just for full mana. And we'll go ahead and run back out here. I need to roam soon, if I can. Because um, Oriana's got pretty powerful roams overall. But if I can't roam, then I mean, you obviously simply can't do it. And, okay. Okay, there I am. So I'm coming in, and he's going to get that one. No, he's not. Okay, I'm going to get these two. So let's see, Alistar might be in a pickle. He does still have his ultimate if all things go wrong. Let's go ahead and just use this on him. And the leap coming in. Use the ultimate. Going to knock him up there. And let's see, there it is. Boop. And come on, there's the kill. And that is Dragon for us. Do this. Because now that we... I still have my exhaust too. So this is very good for us. Let's go ahead and just shield him up. And I think... I think we'll be good. So, yup. That is ours, and it looks like Blitzcrank coming in right now. Zed is coming in, but so is Nasus. Let's go ahead and drop the shield on him. I don't use my exhaust yet. Um, 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 oh god, this is bad still. Wait. Alright, as long as they don't get more than that, it's still pretty worth. If I had my uh, ultimate, that could have gone a lot better, obviously. But I didn't want to overcommit to that fight. And to be honest, I was a little scared to go all in without my ultimate. Because if I get too close without my ult, I will really fuck myself. Like, hard. And I was trying to avoid that one. But it's okay. We still got the dragon. They got a mid turret and two kills out of it, which... Overall, in the grand scope of things, a two for one, where we get dragon but they get a mid turret, is not the worst thing that could happen. Um... It's obviously not great by any means, but it's not the absolute worst thing in the world. The global golden experience will help us tremendously, and after I get a bit more, um, bit more gold here, I'll be able to get my archangel. So I'm gonna go ahead and shield myself here and use the Q, use the Q again, and there we go. Bring it back and wait for just a second, then hit it. And Zed should be coming up here in just a moment, but we'll work on this tower. Looks like he did get double buffs, that's kind of annoying, but get some damage off on him there. He does have Mercurial, or Merc Treads, so he's going to be taking a lot less damage from me. But that's okay. Do some good damage to him still nonetheless. And I'll just shield myself, make sure my ball's on me. And we'll walk out of here away from the Amumu. So even though he does still have so much MR, we're obviously still doing a decent amount of damage to him. As long as I can just keep up the consistent poke, I'll be in a very good position. So, about 160 gold right now away from having my Archangel Staff, and now I'm 30 gold away. So if I can get that and then uh, get into a Seraphs, I'll be able to tank quite a lot more damage. And of course I'll also have a lot more mana as well. So, lots of good things out of the tier in the, uh, the Archangel Staff and the Seraphs Embrace. Uh, if you guys don't know what Seraphs Embrace does, what it does is... Um, it gives you a big shield uh, by spending like 25% of your current mana or something like that. And then, I think it's 25%, is it? 20% of your current mana grants a shield for 3 seconds, plus uh, equal to 150 plus the amount of mana that it consumed. So, there is a pretty big shield involved there. Uh, if you have a lot of mana, which later in the game I probably will. But it's actually, kind of yes, kind of no. The only... Honestly, I don't really like the tier build as much. Simply do that's a very dead rise. But simply due to the fact that um, I don't get all the CDR that I usually use. Which, I mean, I still kind of do because I get um, Morel Namicon with this build when you're against an AD mid. But I, I overall prefer Athenes. So since they're all top right now, Zed went top, I'm going to go ahead and push this out myself, get this mid turret. So bot lane will be going down, but we will be get this mid turret. So we got top turret and mid turret. So very, very worth. And for now, I'm just going to keep pushing because no one's really coming to stop me. 
and um, any damage I can get off on mid turret is good damage. So, looks like they're not giving up on this bottom lane escapade. And now is about the time that I feel like I should start running down myself. So it looks like they're after the Zed, and will they get it? Will he get it? Will he bop him? Oh, he will not. The big dog getting slowed down, and the ultimate, oh, that heal keeping him alive. But here I come in myself. I'm coming in from behind here. Vayne gonna die? And let's see if I can get him. Looks like a Mumu coming in. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, bam! Wait, where's, there's one. Now let's go ahead and just, uh, whoop. Okay. Where's he going? Where are you going? So Rise is coming over here. And I don't know where he went. I don't want to go right into the Rise. So I'm going to throw my ball there. There's Nasus. He's going to get the Wither off on him. And let's see if I can get this ult right here. And let's see. Nope. Hey, you stop that. Boom! There's the kill. Get out of here, son. I'm going to go ahead and just run this way. And whoop. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just shield myself and run out of here. I'm out. Peace. So there we go. Simple jukes. It looks like Zet or Rise was all thing to come towards me, and he's not going to catch me. So picking up the ultimate kill right there. Doing well. Doing big things. So let's go ahead and oh, let Alistair give me the money for those. And let's see, how much is Morello? I think it's 2200. Yeah, I can actually buy it in a very short amount of time if I just keep farming a tiny bit more. So two kills under my belt right there. Looking pretty good for me. And boop, get one more, one more. Let's see, there he is. Go get him, Mumumu. Or not Mumu. Go get him, Alistar. Wait, don't go get him. That's a bad idea. Will this be a kill on the rise, though? Let's go ahead and run up there, see if I can help out myself. And, oh, there's the Seraph's Embrace from shielding myself. I didn't know I was one stack away. Wait, Dragon's up in 20 seconds. I should go back right now. Because if I go back right now and get uh, get my full Zonias, that can help a lot in this next fight. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all my potions and pick up the full Zonias in 15 gold. So Seraph's and Zonias completed will be a lot of AP for me and a lot of uh, utility there. But, okay, well, that was a fast 20 seconds. I apologize, team. I will not be there in time, so the teleport coming in. Alistair just needs to run out, and that will be... Okay, Alistair, you're choosing the wrong way to run, buddy. You're choosing the very wrong way to run. Um, Alistair's alt coming in. There's the flash. All right, he's out. So let's see. We should try and fight this if we can. Whoop. Team. Team. Get him, team. Get him. Get him, team. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, all right, use the ultimate, and let's go ahead and just shield her. And the Q right there, and no more Qs, and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what? That killed me still? All right, Nasus got the kills. Nasus has got them. So we did get a lot of them. And the big bop, and one more. Bam! There it is. Great teleport by Nasus. And we picked up everything. A very... Very questionable play on my part. I really wanted to go in because I knew that we would have had a slight advantage if I got a good ultimate off. And I almost did. If I caught Vayne, it would have been a lot better. I thought she was a bit closer to me, so that was totally my mistake. But overall, it still went very well. Nasus with a good teleport coming in and getting two more big minion... Or not minion kills. Well, I guess essentially big minion kills to Nasus. Um, but getting two more kills on Nasus is really good. A big Nasus is uh, a very happy dog. So how many stacks does he have? 402, 24 minutes. Not too shabby. And if he can keep up those numbers, uh, he's going to take out on this turret too. That damage. A very successful bop. I'm going to come over here and grab blue. So he took down the bot turret. And suddenly that whole trade is pretty worth for us. Because that was just generally pretty good. So Angie helping me out with the blue. Thank you. And that will, bam, be the blue for me. And let's go down here. Nasus, stay. Nah, nah, damn it. Damn it, dog. All right, wait. Oh, God, I'm coming. I'm coming, man. And go. Ball delivery system. Go. Be my ball delivery system. Okay, he's not delivering my balls. But Vayne and Blitzcrank coming up from behind, so we need to be careful. Pretty much, I need to really catch um, Vayne with my ultimate. That's pretty much it. Um, Zed is very tanky overall, like as far as, you know, not taking damage from me, he's pretty tanky. 
So it's... How did that not pop his banshees? What the heck? All right, that's questionable. Oh, bam! Let's go ahead and do some big damage there and not get ulted by them. And let's go ahead. Come on, come on. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Seraphs. Boom! There's the kill off onto him. And let's go ahead and get this shield here. Looks like he is taking a lot of damage. Very, very good job by me and the rest of my team zoning them beautifully. And that was a three-for-one exchange where... Oh, Blitzcrank is very low, and I'm going to go ahead and speed them up. And Alistair is running in to get him, and will it get him? And it looks like it will get him. So that will be another kill for us. And this, that will be two mid turrets going down for a very successful catch on my ultimate. So very good for us. Could even get the inhibitor, because we do have Nasus. So Big Dog really shining through in this phase of the game. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And there it goes, the inhibitor for us. Great job. It looks like Nasus may be in a bit of a finicky situation here. Never mind. He's fine. Let's go ahead and drop my balls right here. Just zone her out a little bit and boop, get some damage off on Amumu. Slow him down. Keep him from uh, advancing on us. Let's see if, uh, shoot, B. Yeah, they could go for that really quickly. I'm going to go drop my ward on it. So let's go ahead and just W, go a bit quicker. And drop a ward there. Yeah, yeah. Do some damage to them. Yeah, do more damage, and that'll be good. So, you know, I kind of want to piss off the Baron. Here we go. Now he's gonna start hitting the enemies, and that will be the end of that. So, let's go ahead and just shield him. Oh God, please don't pull me. All right. Yeah, the red's up. Boop. Go ahead and just take this for uh, for Angie. And let's see. Is he going to go for it? Whoa, whoa, what is going on? I, where is every? Where are my balls? Oh, God, this is bad. This is not bad. Did I just miss? So I think Blitzcrank just gave up on life. Uh, go. Go, big dog, go. Come on. Oh, this is good. This is good. And... Uh, oh, shit, you bitch. All right, I'm going for this bitch. Come here, lady. Come here. Come here. I... Yep. Ah! God damn it! Fuck you! No! No! God damn it! Oh, God damn it, dude. Alright, what are you doing? You're not going to kill me. Like, you're not gonna... He just went back in there, man. Come on. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and just run after this Amumu. So let's see if we can help out, and, alright, he's, he flashed, alright. Well, overall, <sighs> if I didn't chase, I could have gone a lot better, but I think I could have killed Vayne. So I'm disappointed right now in myself, but it's okay, it happens. Let's go ahead and see here. Does any of them have a lot of MR? MR, MR. A Void Staff could be good, but I'm not going to get it. Not yet. <laughs> Simply because I'm being cocky and I don't want to. I'm going to get Rabidons next and then avoid staff. Sanji's heading down for that farm down there. So I will charge back towards mid and I'll grab uh, wraiths and stuff. Because I can't obviously farm that very safely. And Dragon's up now and Cod6 is going to get that. Good job, buddy. So let's see. They did just ward that and just swept that. But they did not find our ward. So that's actually really good for us. Let's go ahead and see this here. So, guys... Team? 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 Alright. Can I be the hero that this team deserves? Can I be the hero? I... Ah, damn it! Alright, doing a lot of damage though, holy shit! It looks like Octavius Caesar is not going to be very livid after that. It looks like, whoa, we are going in! And this will be a bunch of damage going off on them. And he's going to try and ult me but I'm not gonna let it happen so pop pop and pop there's one kill so actually wait what the heck happened to the rest of my team I had a Mumu and Zed with no Mumu ult in that fight so whoa the next level Alistair escapes oh my god and the Nexus turrets for their team will be taking a strong beating never mind Rise was on the case so they'll still take a little damage but not near as much so there's their inhibitor responding as well again not good but at the same time it's not terrible I mean that was pretty terrible 
Never mind. I'm gonna... No, that was straight up terrible. Everything about that was bad for us. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I'm trying to convince myself that it's kind of okay. But that really wasn't okay. That was really bad for us. They got barren. And, I mean, we got damage off on their Nexus turret, I guess. And now they got dra We didn't even get dragon. We didn't even take the dragon. Okay. Well, I'm coming over for it, because, you know, I want that shit. And... Boink. Oh, shit, I missed. All right. T-Y. Thank you. And let's... This is perfect time to catch them. Go. Go. Go catch them. Go, little Bo Peep. Go. Deliver my balls! Deliver them! Get him. Get him. Get... Get him! Go! What the heck? They're... Someone just recalled. Go! And it would have been 4v5! God damn it! I hate this guy. I mean, I hope... Actually, I don't hate him. But I hope he knows that... I hope he catches on that I've been talking in caps literally all game. And it's not that I'm mad at him or anything. But I refuse to shut off my caps lock because I'm a capitalist. So let's go ahead and just run in here and get all these minions. Swiggity swiggity. Coming for that booty. I really... Really am convinced, too, that when Zyrene said that on cast, he was totally thinking about me when he did. So let's go ahead and run top. Because really when they have Baron, all we can hope to do is turtle out. Um, until it's off of all of them. Because Baron up teams, not usually something you want to try and fight. Um, the stats that Baron gives are so tremendous that you really do not want to try and fight that. Um... Like, as far as things you don't want to go, like, things you don't want to fight are concerned, that's that's high up there. You don't want to fight a bear up team. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here before I get caught out by anyone. Looks like uh, Vayne is just pushing bottom. And actually, they're not doing damn near anything with their Baron, and this is really good for us. Um, I was going to say they lost it, but Zed never had it because we killed him. All right, their Baron is up in about a minute. Less than that. Vayne has a Guardian Angel, though, and that's, well, for clear reasons, not good. But I think we'll be... Okay, so I'm going to come down here, and I know he warded over here, so if I don't step too far in... I probably should get a sweeper, actually, come to think of it. A sweeper is really good as the game goes further in, because uh, you can start denying vision, or you can take out wards where you want to try to assassinate from. And that's really useful, so let's go ahead and just cue that. Alistar is not in a good situation. He is... Probably dead, but let's go ahead and ult here and... Okay, that was a bad ultimate. I ulted them kind of out of it. This is bad. This is bad. All... Oh, God. This is... This is kind of... Whoa, what is going on there? All right. So Alistar got himself in a very bad situation. Why would we... Why would we surrender? Uh-oh. I'm going to go ahead and flash out of that. Um, <laughs> Don't really want to get caught by that... Shit, Alistair just wrecked us so hard there. That kind of sucks. Honestly, that, that kind of really sucks, you know. But I guess... Whoa, okay. So he's going hard. I'm going to go ahead and just zone you as that. There we go. Run out here and W away. And there's damn near nothing I can do. Um, I tried to kill Zed, but I didn't get him, sadly. I didn't have enough damage. Is very, very slightly short. But, man, I guess it's okay. Come to think of it, Nasus and I are the only ones that are kind of positive on the team. I mean, I'm still doing alright. So that's one way to look look at it. But, alright, go. Go, Alistar. Go. Go. Stop him! Yes! Go. Get him, Alistar! Go, you're speedy! Okay, you're not going to get him, never mind. He's definitely not going to get him. So I'm going to go ahead and just clear this. And... If I get a good ultimate, we can definitely win. But that's counting on me entirely. And I don't trust myself for shit. So I don't know why my teammates would either. Um, like, I want to trust myself. But it's one of those things that's like... I, I know better. I mess up under pressure. I'm not good under pressure. So let's go ahead and just uh, push this... And get that, Boop. get both of those. And if I can get to this Rabadons, that'll be really good for me. So, 
Go ahead and help him out there a little bit, I guess. And I think I'll just stay mid for now. And try not to get myself caught. Mumu. Okay, they're around mid. So if I wait too far out, I'm definitely going to get caught and killed. And I don't think we even got Vayne's Guardian Ninja during that last fight. No, we didn't. Vayne is very slippery, honestly. If you guys want my honest opinion, especially now as a lot of the really popular AD carries had their ranges reduced, um, I would dare say Vayne is almost easy to use in a sense because her, her ability to reposition is so easy. And especially in the current meta, she's very, very easy to kite with um, against the champions that are popular right now. Like overall, she's just generally very easy to kite with. And for vein players, that's like goddamn paradise. So let's go ahead and just speed this guy up if I can. The W. Go. 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 There. Oh, we just got baited. We just got really hardcore baited. Because Baron is up. I'm going to go back and buy home guards, maybe? No. I don't need to buy home guards. I don't need to buy home guards. Good. I'm going to use my W. Try and get out of there fast. Fuck, I can't go help. <laughs> I have to defend the base. So if they wanted to, Baron would be kind of free right now. So luckily they're not doing it, which is very questionable on their part. But lucky for us, they chose not to. So they might be able to do it fast enough. I have to defend the base. So, well, now they know we're doing it. They're going to rush straight to the Baron. This is a bad idea for us. Good thing they're backing off. Thank goodness. Because we do not want to pick these fights with them right now. And I need to keep this wave down. So, got that. Um, let's go ahead and see here. They aren't going for it yet and that's interesting oh if he got pulled into that if Alistair WQ's the right target with my ball on him this could be the afro moo story but I have to be pretty damn close to him to do that and that is not not okay uh, I have to, I have to make sure I hit Vayne if I don't hit Vayne I'm fucked it's over um, and Alistar is totally caught again. Alright, that is not good. This is not good. Um, alright. No, I didn't get her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, well, I got my Zonias off in time. That is a dead hurt. And let's go ahead and just do this. Flash out. And there's... Okay, she got the kill. And let's see. We kind of lived there. Did we get Vayne's GA? I don't think so. But Alistar getting caught right in the mid lane again. At a very, very, very bad time to be caught. Won't lie, I thought Zed was on our team. Well, that happens to the best of us, I guess, so. You know, it's understandable, right? Let's go ahead and. I'm fucked, man. I'm so fucked. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, damn. Graybell is really demoralizing me. <laughs> if I'm going to be totally honest, he's really, really bringing my hopes down. I mean, we have a lot of minion pressure pushing, but it's just normal waves, so they're not really going to do anything. Now, don't get me wrong. I honestly think we can still win. I think we truly can. We still have both the Nexus turrets left. And as long as they don't get, um, get, like, secure some really powerful lead and kill us in a very decisive fight, we should be okay. Um, like, Alistair got caught out there really badly. I missed Vayne with my ultimate again, which is really bad. I need to hit her. I absolutely 100% need to. Um, because obviously... I can handle Zed jumping on me, because I'll just zone use it. But Vayne needs to die. She's doing so much damage for their team, and she's the reason 
NASA's can't do big dog things. So it's really, really rough. Do you guys get it? Rough? Like NASA's, he's a big dog. Do you get it? All right, this is a good catch on Alistair's part, but we need to not get killed here. All right, got, got the vein, and I definitely died too fast. And nope, we just lost. I didn't hit my two fast enough, and yeah, Bane's too powerful. We just lost. I messed up. I messed up really badly. Um, it was almost a good catch, but the way I messed up myself was I got pulled into Blitz's damage, um, and Zed actually jumped me before I really had a chance to react. I tried to hit two and three, but I just didn't do it in time. So. Well, that should be a loss for us. That's a shame. And even without my void staff, I actually still did quite a lot of damage to the vein, but it clearly wasn't enough to uh, kill her, which is a bit of a shame. So now they're being BM for whatever reason, and I mean that'll be the end of the game. But still, it was a pretty good game overall. We had a good time. Um, shame that we lost, but still a good 40-minute game. I know you guys enjoyed the long game. Sorry it was a defeat, but overall, I don't think I did too badly myself, other than not getting uh, not getting good alts really I had some good ones but I didn't get the important ones so I wasn't able to carry I'm not I'm still practicing Oriana I'm a lot better than I used to be but I'm still practicing practicing her and um, sometimes you just get teammates like that Alistair was in that game and they're really really hard to deal with sometimes because they uh, do silly things later in the game and Angie's actually telling me that he was doing the stupidest things in lane so she muted him um, but it happens. It happens. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite listening out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It will be a wonderful day. Peace!